First tonight, a family, a police department, and a city in mourning after veteran NYPD officer Anastasio Sacos was killed in the line of duty this morning. He was directing traffic after another fatal accident on the LIE when an accused drunk driver ran him over. The loss is being felt here in the city where he served and on Long Island, where the husband and father of two lived. And we have team coverage this afternoon. Let's begin with CBS 2's Dave Carlin. He is live in Hollis, Queens, where the officer was assigned. Dave. Christine and Dick, deep sadness and sorrow here at Highway Patrol Unit 3. A veteran officer killed in the line of duty. And we did see that driver crying confessing even and saying she is sorry but who cannot bring her ba him back this memorial bunting is for nypd officer anastasio sacos whose work shift early morning tuesday had him directing traffic at an initial crash site and ended with his shocking death in a second crash this 32 year old woman who police say killed him then drove off jessica beauvais was taken to court late tuesday afternoon crying and apologizing I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? I'm sorry that I hit him out of here dead. The 43 year old highway patrol officer is ripped from his wife and young daughter and son and taken from this other family at Highway Patrol Unit 3 with his colleagues and friends formed during 14 years on the job. We stand here devastated. Police Commissioner Dermache appeared at a news conference with Mayor Bill de Blasio, sharing the series of events he called senseless and avoidable. Police say after Beauvais of Hempstead hit Officer Sacos on the Long Island Expressway at the Clearview Expressway exit in Fresh Meadows, she drove away with a completely shattered windshield. Police say she has a history of traffic violations and was allegedly driving under the influence with a suspended license. At 2 a.m. when it happened, the officer was redirecting traffic around a fatal single car crash where the passenger died after the car hit a utility pole. The first driver allegedly drunk, according According to police. Well, we ask that you give us some privacy as we go through this time. Outside Beauvais' Long Island home, family members said little, but this neighbor weighed in on what she described as decisions that take and ruin lives. I feel bad for her. She should not have been out there, period. But a family has been destroyed. Leading up to the tragedy, Beauvais was at a studio hosting a podcast using the name Phoenix Michelle, streaming for about two hours on Facebook. We see here a horrendous pattern. People doing the wrong thing and other people dead because of it. And one of them, a hero officer who did everything right in his life for us and he is dead because of other people's negligence. Beauvais is charged with multiple crimes, including vehicular manslaughter, reckless endangerment, and leading, leaving rather the scene of an accident. Her arraignment is scheduled for later tonight. Live in Hollis, Queens, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. All right, Dave, thanks very much.